Hello everyone, welcome back to Tector.com. So in this lecture we are starting differentiation. Differentiation or derivative of a function means we are trying to calculate the slope of that function at that point. So when we say that there is a function fx, it means that there will be some curve for this function. So if I say that what is the derivative that is represented by f dash x at some x equal to c so we will see that at this x equal to c let's say this is c at this x equal to c what is the slope of ten tangent slope of tangent of this function okay slope so this slope that is tan theta can be found out directly by finding out the derivative of that function function at that point so if you have given a function and you are calculating derivative it means you are calculating the slope of the function at that point and if you are calculating slope in general like derivative of a function it means you are calculating the function which will represent the slope of that function okay so and what is slope? Slope is basically the rate of change. So when you when you calculate differentiation uh, of a function, it means you are calculating how fast the function is changing his nature. Okay, how fast the curve is changing his changing his direction. Okay, so its direction change of its direction is basically slope. Okay, when we when we uh, in our this mechanics when we calculate velocity what did what do we do we just calculate how fast the distance is changing when we calculate acceleration we calculate how fast the velocity is changing okay so when we want to calculate how fast the particular particular quantity is changing what do we calculate we calculate the derivative of that quantity i mean derivative of the function which represents that quantity so this is the basic concepts behind differentiation and there are few important rules so the first one is derivative is distributive over addition so if we have f of like f plus g let's say f and g are two function and we have to find out derivative of this function it will be equal to individual derivative and then sum okay Similarly, if you have, I mean, it is distributive over plus and minus both. So let's write like this. Now, this is important. This is important. If you have f into g, and then you have to find out derivative of this. So what will be it equal to? It will be equal to something like. What do we do is when we have, we have to find out derivation of two functions, product of two functions first of all we keep one function constant and find der derivative of other so we will keep g as constant and then we will find f dash now again what we will do we will keep another function constant and we will find the differentiation of remaining function so it will be f as constant and into g dash okay so what do we do basically we keep one function constant at a time and differentiate other next time we repeat this function by interchanging the process for uh, functions okay so this is for product now similarly for division like if we have f upon g what do we do we simply what do we do is we keep first of all we keep g constant and differentiate f dashed fine and then minus we keep f that is numerator constant and differentiate denominator and upon square of this g that is square of denominator so this is in case of uh, division this is also important and another one is differentiation of a function with respect to a function okay so let's say I have a function gx okay and we have a function fx which is function of gx so basically f is function of gx now if we try to find out this 
d by dx let's say we we are differentiating this entire function by with respect to x we are differentiating this function f with respect to x where f is a function of gx and gx is basically function of x okay so in this case what do we do it's very simple we first differentiate this f with respect to g so what do we do we find df with respect to g that is dg okay and then we differentiate this g with respect to d g upon dx fine so that's why we proceed that's how we proceed let's take an example for this last one well so we have we have to find out the d by dx of log of log of x square okay so this log of x square let this is this corresponds to gx gx and this entire thing corresponds to fx f okay log so what do we do we first differentiate this entire thing with respect to g that is x square so what it will become it will become 1 by what is the differentiation of log x 1 by x so it will become 1 by x square okay and then we differentiate this x square that is g with respect to x this one so what will be the differentiation of x square now so let's write it something like this so it will be uh, d by log of x log of x square with respect to d x square okay d x square and into d of x square with respect to dx fine so what it will become it will become this one will become 1 by x square and into the differentiation of x square with respect to x 2x so this x and x is cancel out so it will be 2 by x so this is this. I hope you understand it we will solve uh, other many questions and we will see the applications of derivative so I hope this is clear. Thanks for watching.